Um, I think uh, I mentioned in one of my videos last week, I went to my support group. And I don't know how many of you out there who've had bariatric surgery go to a support group. I highly recommend it. It's um, really great. And you get to meet, you know, a lot of people who are at different steps in your journey. And, and you get a lot of great uh, advice and um you know, you see what other people are, are, are going through. But anyways, we were talking about uh, different things there. And one of the things that we're going to be going through, um, my bariatric coordinator is becoming a life coach. And she's starting up this uh, managing weight program, which I want to enter. Unfortunately, I can't enter it when she's starting it up because I'll be on my back with my stomach caught up in pieces. But I'm going to start the next one because I think it's really cool. But the fun thing that we did at my support group was she had one of those Ironman scales that she brought. That was the coolest thing. It It's $300 for the scale, but it basically measures just about everything humanly possible on your body. I don't know exactly how accurate it is, but a lot of the things that I said pretty accurate in terms of what I've been tested for from my doctor and also my uh, my trainer. So I was actually pretty excited because, um, you know, I've been, as you know, some of you know, I've been working out really hard and it was good to hear the results. So I'm going to read to you my official results on what the Ironman scale said for me. Uh, first of all, it weighed me in as, at 163.8 pounds, which is fine. I tend to bounce um, between 160 and 165, like, all the time. It means absolutely nothing to me anymore, because the strange thing is, I haven't really lost any weight in probably six months, but I've gone down two sizes. And um, I, my tens that I have currently are falling off of me. And I have a couple of eights that I'm wearing, which is another unbelievable thing. I can't believe I'm wearing an eight. But yeah, um, so I'm not so much concerned about the what the scale says pretty much for the first time in my life. Even though it's not my goal, I know that I'm working really hard, so I'm fine with that. So anyways, uh, 163.8 pounds. Um, it says that my, my body fat percentage was 30.5, which is higher than I would like it to be. Um, ideally, I would like to be between 22, maybe 23% body fat. Um, but it listed me in that category as being healthy. Um, I still, in terms of my BMI, um, I'm still considered, uh, you know, overweight. Um, my water percentage was pretty good. I had 50.3% um, water, which is strange because... I don't drink a ton of water. You know, you hear people who talk about getting in their 64 ounces of fluid a day. That doesn't mean that you have to do it all from your water bottle. Because things that we eat um, have water in them. And I'm sort of living proof of this because I don't obsess about the water. I just drink what I can. I know that I could do better. But uh, I truly believe that um, there's a little bit too much hype. In fact, I heard uh, I heard a res you know on the news the other day that they were saying that the old rule of thumb, thumb was you know uh, eight glasses of water a day. Now the studies show that there is actually no proof that it makes you any healthier. Doesn't do anything for your hair or your skin. Although your body does need water, 
Don't get me wrong. I'm not arguing against water. You could drink as much as you want. However, I don't drink a solid 64 ounces of just water a day. I probably have um, two of these, and this is uh, 20 ounces. So I get in about 40 ounces a day, and it listed me as being 50.3% uh, water. Okay, my vestrial rating, that's the belly fat around your middle, was a 4. And um, it says basically that uh, research shows that even if your weight and your body fat remains constant, as you get older, the distribution of fat changes and more is more likely to shift to the trunk area, especially postmenopause. Um, anyways, it listed me as a 4. And a rating from 1 to 12 is, is, is very healthy. It's the best you can get. Um, so I was happy with the 4 rating. And uh, then, this was the bad part. My metabolic age is that of a 45-year-old woman. Now, that's not so bad. But it is when you're 30. Well, I'll be 31 on Thursday. Um, but I knew my metabolism was slow. I've known that. Uh, I currently burn 1,531 uh, calories a day resting. So, but that's okay because when I had the surgery, I was burning 900. So uh, I'm still very low. I'm under average, but I'm okay with that because I understand my body now. So, uh, anyways, it recommended that I I uh, I add some exercise to my life. Yeah, we're gonna skip that part. Um. I don't think there's any room in the day to add exercising. I do it all the Look at me. You know why I always have this on? Because I'm always working out. <laughs> I'm never even dressed up for these things anymore. Because I'm always fitting it in between my workouts. Um, okay. This is what I was really happy about. It uh, says, what is your muscle mass? Goes into all this stuff in your physique rating. And I currently have 105.6 pounds of pure muscle mass, which listed me um, as standard muscle. It says that I have um, high muscle and an average body fat percentage. It listed me under athletic. It's the first time I've ever been listed under athletic in my entire life. <laughs> so this person has an average body fat percentage and a higher than normal muscle mass level. So I was really happy with that because I've been trying so hard uh, to build up my muscle mass. Um, it measures your arms. And my right and left arm are the exact same size. They're both 5 pounds. And then my left leg was 18.8. .8, my right leg was 18.2. My torso was 58.2 pounds. So, um, of muscle mass. So that was pretty neat. And then it gives your bone density, your bone mass, and that listed me as a 5.6. Um, but it was really interesting to get all of those measurements. And like I said, I don't know just how accurate it is, but I'm not going to argue with that because uh, I felt pretty good about it. Um... Working out is definitely a lifestyle for me, as well as running. It's just something that I know and that I have accepted that I will probably have to do the rest of my life. Because um, I've accepted that this uh, surgery that I've had is not going to work for me my whole life. I can't uh, ride on it only and solely because I can eat a lot now. And... Uh, I know that I could just gain the way back. So I think that by increasing my muscle mass and, you know, building up uh, with strength training and being active by running so that I have an active cardio life, I think that it will help me to maintain, carry me through, um, you know, for another 20, 30 years. 
that's what uh, I'm counting on. That's, you know, what I want. So I'm just going to have to keep doing it. Uh, but so I'm, so I'm happy. This is exciting. So if anybody wants to get the Iron Man, it's one of the newest ones. I forget what the model is called. It was uh, pretty neat. So that's it on my reports.